So today we are going to be showing you how to build your very own foldable binner CubeSat from nothing but a little bit of paper. So you can grab the design you need from our website. It looks like this. We are going to be cutting along these orange dotted lines and folding anywhere we see a blue dotted line. All right, so you're going to want to make sure as you're cutting this bit that you cut all the way along here. That's going to let our deployable solar panels fold all the way out. So make sure we leave that little tab there attached and just cut around the edges. So for this bit, we're going to want to cut just a little bit further in as well. We've got some orange lines that sort of continue down that way. And that's actually going to give us one of our flaps that we're going to tuck our little uh, tabs into. So obviously the real binner is not made of paper. It is made of anodized aluminium. There's this uh, weird thing that can happen in space called cold welding. So anodizing our CubeSat uh, makes it look matte black and really cool. Um, but it also makes sure that we're not sticking in the deployer and causing a traffic jam on our way out into space. All right, and then we've got a couple of little bits to cut uh, in the middle of our CubeSat here. All right, so these you might notice are exactly the same size as our tabs and they're gonna help us put our CubeSat together. The other thing we have to cut out, so this is our deployable antenna. So for bin R2, 3 and 4, we've designed our own radio antenna to send signals back to Earth. Uh, and to get a better signal, we're actually going to have that deploy. So our little paper CubeSat needs a deployable antenna as well. So wherever we see a blue dotted line, we're basically gonna fold inwards and all of our folds go up towards us like this. We're gonna start with this corner here. We're just gonna tuck that little arrow through there like that. So for our, our top piece, we're just gonna tuck this tab into this little gap that we cut here, this tab into this little slit, tuck our front tab into that slit there. And there it is, done. Then we've got bin R2, bin R3, and bin R4, three identical CubeSats, three sets of deployable solar panels, and three homegrown deployable antennas. So there is something uh, pretty cool we can do with these. It's going to take advantage of the fact that we can open them up and pop things inside them, uh, but we'll get to that in a different video.